Amen. <coughs> My throat's a little scratchy. How many of us we need to do more praying? Amen. One person. Come on, that's better than none. All of us. Amen. <coughs> Pray without ceasing is what I think this sermon. I, I preached this about three years ago. When I was studying, I couldn't get off this. So I went with it again. Amen. First Thessalonians 5.17 says, Pray without ceasing. Now, three words alone tells us what we should constantly be doing. Come on. Praying. Yeah. You, have, you know, you have ones that's called to preach, called to play instruments. People have called in their lives, but one thing that we all have is a calling for free. Amen. I don't I think Brother Billy mentioned that this past on here. I remember hearing him say that in one church service. Yeah. One thing we better have is a prayer life. Amen. Because if we don't have a prayer life, we won't make it. Amen. And if there's ever a time we need to pray, it's now. Because everything going on around us, you know, the wars and the violence, all you got to do is on the TV and the paper and you see it going around. And you don't even got to do that. You'll hear from other people. They'll tell you. Amen. Well, we'll never run out of things to pray for. There's always something or somebody that needs prayer. Yeah. Second Chronicles, Second Chronicles 7 and 14. Everybody should know this one by heart. If my people which are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and will heal their land. Amen. The next time we pray for something, and wonder yeah. why we didn't get an answer, maybe we should study this verse a little bit harder. Come on. That don't apply to all of us, but some people that does. Yeah. And that's a very powerful scripture right there. Amen. We're always praying for God to help us with something all the time. Yeah. And when we don't get what we want, we we get frustrated and start asking God why instead of asking the Lord, I make it my prayer yet, maybe we should start doing more for Him. Come on. Because sometimes God's after us to praise Him, worship Him, then He'll let through our prayer. But we, Amen. We seem to be a little bit impatient when it comes to that. The Lord loves helping His people. But He also loves people sacrificing and calling on His name. And that's what we need to do more of. Amen. None of us have any excuse for not praying. Yeah. But yet we tend to have several reasons why we don't pray. Come on. I know there's some that can't actually get down on their knees to pray because of health reasons, but you don't always got to get down on your knees to pray. Amen. And some of the best prayer I've ever had is coming in my car, driving down the road. Amen. So, as long as you're putting forth the effort, God appreciates that. That's what He's after. Is to do the best you can, not be the best, but do your best. Amen. And time goes by so quickly, it just seems like as soon as you get up, it's time to go back to bed. It's, the day just comes and goes quick, faster than anything I've ever seen. And when the day's over, you realize, I have realized that, man, I didn't pray like I should have. I didn't read my Bible like I should have. Where did the day go? Yeah. And now that I'm working, it really seems to go by quick. Where is the time going? Yeah. We must make ourselves pray. But we ain't gonna make it. Come on. <coughs> Psalm 55, 17. Evening and morning, and at noon, will I pray and cry aloud, and he shall hear my voice. The scripture is a perfect example of how we should try to pray more. We can never pray too much. We should strive to pray more and more every day. Every one of us tonight can probably testify about some point in life where we prayed for God to help in some way. But it seemed like the prayer was never answered. Yeah. But uh, later on, we find out later that down the road, the answer was there. But we didn't see it because it wasn't answered in the way we wanted. Amen. And we can only stay focused on what God knows is best for us instead of what we think is best for us. We would be in a whole lot better shape than we are now. Amen. That's we, true. we are just so impatient. This is the way we are. We're human and animal flesh is impatient. So I'm impatient. I can talk about me. When I want something, I want it now. And it doesn't work that way. A lot of our prayers are I need or Lord I want. Yeah. Like I said earlier, there's a lot more to pray for besides ourselves. 
always somebody to pray for. Somebody always worse off than we are. And I, I think about that going through what I've been going through. Is there's always somebody worse. And I thank God that I'm no worse. Yeah. Because I'll make it. The Lord has told me I'll make it. Well, I'll make it. You've got to hold on. What's sad most of the time is God has to put us against our back against the wall before we do any serious praying. Yeah. That's the way it's been in my hard headed life. Come on. That's the only way to get my attention sometimes. He has to put me to a place to where I have to call out on his name. Amen. And it shouldn't be that way either. We should pray. And I know I keep saying pray a lot, but that's so important. Yeah. Because I don't know what I'd do for what for the Lord to be able to pray to him. Because sometimes when I'm going through a trial, he he feels like it's all I got. Yeah. So I have to have that relationship, that bond with him in prayer. <laughs> I'm going to read a few scriptures here. You know, if you go to them, you can write them down if you want to. Come on. Matthew 14, 23, it says, And when he had sent the multitudes away, he went up into a mountain, apart to pray. And when evening was come, he was there alone. Luke 11, 1 says, And it came to pass that as he was praying in a certain place, when he ceased, one of his disciples said unto him, Lord, teach us to pray as John also taught his disciples. Luke 18 and 1 says, And he spake a parable unto them to this end, that men ought always to pray and not to faint. Yes. James 5 16 says, Confess your faults one to another and pray one for another that you may be healed. The effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. Amen. <clears throat> Isaiah 55 6 Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. Pray. Pray while the Lord may be found. Yeah. These scriptures let us know just how important it is. Because the day is coming when people are going to start praying and crying out to the Lord and He ain't going to be there. Amen. And ain't going to get no answer. Amen. Going to be missing it. Time is running out. Even if the Lord don't come back for the next 20 years, we're one day closer to the grave. Amen. We are. All have death. That's in common. We all have that in common. Yeah. We're going to go by either the rapture or the grave. Hebrews 9.27, as it is appointed unto men once to die, but after this, in the judgment. Yes. We're going to be held accountable for how much praying we did in this life. When we get to go before the Lord on Judgment Day, one thing I want him to say is, well done in praying. You know, it's just a compliment on my praying. Everybody should strive to do that where the Lord is satisfied with our prayer life. When we get Amen. Amen. This book right here, this Holy Bible, King James Version, is about prayer, how many people prayed in there. Hell hold on to God from all the prayers, especially the ones that went through the trials of like, you know, the last den. Yeah. Jonah and the well. Yeah. David and Goliath. It's filled with stories like that. They was praying. Yeah. All right, they wouldn't have made it through all that. And then we complained about what we go through. Amen. In closing, I know this is short. I want to ask everybody a question. Are you praying hard or are you hardly praying? That's actually a song. We can run out of food. We can run out of water. We can run out of a lot of things. But we can never run out of stuff to pray for. Yeah. There's always something to pray for. If you run out of something to pray for, pray for me. Come on. I need it every day. And if it wasn't for the prayers of the people, I wouldn't be this far. Because prayer is what gets me through. Amen. I can feel people praying for me in the Spirit. When I'm down, I feel it. That means more to me than ever. Amen. Give a hand to the Lord's Word.